Hello guys! It's been a long time since I used this camera. She got even a little bit dusty. <laughs> yeah, but today is actually a pretty good day. The last couple of, let's say last one and a half weeks, it's almost been only rainy. And yeah, since the rain season is right now. And the next four days is going to be pretty good, so I decided to go today to the Atomic Bomb Museum and, uh, and the Peace Park and the Cathedral and the small house. <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking down for it and I think there are going to be pretty sad moments, but yeah. I think it's important to remember those things and what happened and that it will never happen again. Nagasaki must be the last place exposed to an atomic bomb. Ninth August 1945, 11 o'clock in the morning. The B-29 bomber Boxcar is above the Nagasaki city. The load was a plutonium type atomic bomb with a length of 3.25 meters and a 1.52 meter diameter. The weight was 4.5 ton and the explosive force was about 21 kilotons of TNT. That's equivalent to 21,000 tons of highly explosive gunpowder or 5,200 trucks with each carrying 4 tons of dynamite were piled together and detonated at once. Same day Nagasaki Two minutes past 11. The B-29 bomber Boxcar dropped a plutonium atom bomb Fat Man from 9000 meters. The bomb exploded at an height of 500 meters above the ground zero. At the moment of the explosion, the heat produced by the fireball exceeded several million degrees. It was as if suddenly another sun had appeared. With the explosion, several heat rays were released, such as Alpha, Beta, Neutron, Gamma, Infrared, and ultraviolet rays. The raw force of the heat rays can be seen by the shadows literally burned into objects. This monk with his monk robe was exposed with his back to the heat rays 3.5 kilometers away from the hypocenter and got burned. The shockwave caused by the explosion reached 11 kilometers in about 30 seconds. Once the shockwave subsided, the wind flowed back in the opposite direction towards the hypocenter or ground zero and formed the atomic cloud. A total of approximately 6.7 km square was reduced to ash by the bomb blast and the fires after. 67 towns continued to burn until the next morning. The death rate in unshielded outdoor areas within a radius of 1050 meters from the ground zero is 100%. According to the monument at the ground zero in Nagasaki, 182,600 Ron people died until now as a consequence of the bombing. People got diagnosed with different type of cancers up to 40 years after the bombing. The relief train for the victims. This map shows atomic bomb stockpiles with their countries. History of the development of nuclear weapons. Those little signs are the tests by year. 
So the first was tested 1944, 1945, in July 16th. It was a Nagasaki type. 1946, two more, three more, 1949, one. I fast forward this clip because it has more of a visualizing purpose. All those clusters with the mushroom clouds are atomic bomb tests. Since 1945, 2056 nuclear weapons have been tested by several countries. After the museum I needed 30 minutes to realize and think about what happened and I, what I saw. I was just emotional. I wasn't talking at all. Of course I can show you everything from the museum because some of the pictures and the videos are about families, children and I don't want to show it. As the last part from the museum I want you to listen to the peace declaration. After that I will show you some clips from the peace park, the ground zero monument and from a doctor who lived in a very small house after the atomic bomb. Close your eyes and listen. While thousands of arms and legs were torn off, intestines dropping out, maggots swarming in bodies, those still breathing searched for loved ones and cremated the death they found. The smoke of burning corpses rose into the sky and innocent blood stained the water of Urakami River, leaving only colloid scars and war finally came to an end. But my mother and father are gone. My brothers and sisters will never return. People are weak, quick to forget. They repeat the same mistake again and again. But this one thing must never be forgotten. This one thing must never be repeated. Under, under ending circumstances whatsoever. This poem was written by a woman exposed to the Nagasaki atomic bombing at 11.02 a.m. August 9, 1945. 17 years old. She lost her family, suffered serious injuries. The poem expresses her fervent belief that no one else in the world should ever have to experience the same tragedy. The atomic bombs were built by human hands and exploded over human heads. It follows that nuclear weapons can be eliminated by an act of human will and that the source of will is, without question, the mind of each human being. In this house, it's like two tat tatami mates. He lived with his daughter because after the atomic bombing, his house burned down. Sick. He was, sick. He, was he was very sick. Thanks. And yeah, he couldn't build his own house. House. So the people built it for him, even if it's a small one. He lived in here. <laughs> 